Were guys upbeat at halftime, discouraged at halftime? What was the mood in the locker room? Uh, actually, uh, Wes Johnson got everybody together. So, so after that, uh, everybody was ready to go out and you know, do what we got to do. Gave you guys a pep talk? Yes, sir. Any, anything particular that you can share with us that uh, <laughs> you said? Uh, it's just basically uh, holding each other accountable. Uh, you know, um, offensive line do their job, receivers do their job. Basically, you know, just holding everybody accountable. Jaron, could you talk about the final touchdown drive in general? You guys converted some third and fourth downs. Oh, man, it was a great uh, big drive. Um, we was up trying to milk the clock and, and drive the ball down. I mean, I think it was 14 plays, like an eight-minute drive. And that was huge for our offense. Uh, converted some some crucial third down, fourth downs, um, just moving the ball and milking the clock at the same time. And the end result got some points to put the game out of reach. So, I mean, it was a real good drive. In the second half, we showed how if we um, just all – Play together as one will be unstoppable. Nobody can stop us. And then if we could just put that together for four quarters, we'll be very successful. And now in that second half, just proved it. And we just got to build on that second half to the next game and going forward. Do you guys have a more aggressive approach up front today? Yeah, we have a more aggressive approach coming coming into the game. But uh, me, I didn't realize it was going to cut so much. So we had to adjust to that. But once we adjusted, you uh, almost got yourself an interception today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost, almost. Hey, I don't work on uh, pass drills, so. Yeah. Did you guys kind of expect them to come out and go with the, the dink and dunk type passing game, a lot of five, seven-yard completions? Yeah, we were expecting it because um, they were, you know, basically a spread, uh, spread offense, and um, we went over it the whole week, um, the formations, doubles, um, trips, squads, empty. So we were pretty much expecting all the – Dump passes and quick, quick throws. How, how did things change with uh, with Carl Butler out and Larry Franklin in at linebacker? Um, like I said last time, um, really nothing's changed. It, we're just gonna keep moving forward. It's out of control. With you know, it's unfortunate that Carl is out and um, also Chase going, but we're just gonna move forward. And I think those guys played a great game, sealing in um, um, Larry Franklin. One guy, I guess, from this year at least, you wouldn't have had any film on was Blanche Flower. Was he in the game plan this past week, the big tight end who played for the first time today, Eddie Seven? Uh, he, he was a little bit, but um, we, um, I think last year, I think he played a little bit, but he's a great athlete. I fought to him after the game and just told him he's a real great athlete, big and strong, but I think we handled him pretty well this game. And,